Alright, so it's been a while since I did any kind of haul video, and I've accumulated some random books. So this is just a little mini end of summer, some things I bought, some things I got, book haul. Yeah! <laughs> Also, I just want to quickly mention that as we're getting closer to Halloween, I've been really in the mood to read some spooky, creepy, monster type stories. So if you have recommendations for that, please leave them in the comments below because I'm kind of struggling to find good ones. A lot of them are just really generic monster stories and I really like stories where you get to hear about the monster's perspective. So if you have anything in mind for that, please let me know. Anyway, on to the haul. The first one I'm going to mention is A Tale of Dueling Neurosurgeons by Sam Keen. I actually got this book through a Facebook book exchange. There's this thing going around where you would send out one book and a bunch of people got your addresses and you sent them to each other so each person is only sending one book but you could end up receiving a ton of them. Unfortunately, I've only received the one so far. Uh, I'm totally jealous because my friend Katie has received like five so that, I don't know, maybe there'll be more. But anyway, I got this book. I have literally no idea what it is. The point of the book exchange was that you just send people a book that you personally really love. So I was sent this by a complete stranger. And I think that's a really cool idea to just like randomly get a book that someone else loves. So this is definitely not something I would have picked up on my own, but I'm really glad for that because I think it's really cool to be exposed to a book maybe you never would have tried out. So once I read this, I will let you know what I think. The other book in here that I did not get for myself is issue one for the new Suicide Squad. Uh, my friend Sam gave this to me because she got a bunch of them for a promotion at work. She works at a bookstore. I haven't read this yet. She said that it was sort of strange and I'm not super familiar with the DC universe, but I think this would be a really cool place to start in. I love villains. Like I said, I've been in a kind of like darker, creepy monster moods, so I look forward to this. Though I don't usually read the weekly issues, I strongly prefer trade paperback, so if I like it, I'll probably end up waiting for that. Still on comic books, I got volumes 2 and 3 of Alex and Ada. These are by Jonathan Luna and Sarah Vaughn. I absolutely loved volume 1, as I mentioned in my last reading wrap-up, and I was super excited to get my hands on these, so as soon as I got my first paycheck for my new job, I went online and ordered a whole bunch of books, including these two. I'm super excited to read this and honestly might read both of them today, so I will let you know what I think. I'm sure I will be giving them 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads because the first one was just so amazing. I'm really looking forward to the next two. I then have a book of poetry by Amanda Lovelace called The Princess Saves Herself in this one, and honestly that title alone was enough to make me want to read this. I heard someone mention this on booktube, they said it was really good. Seemed charming, so I bought it. I also really love that the back says, The story of a princess turned damsel turned queen. That seems really intriguing, and I look forward to reading it. Also, sometimes it's nice to pick up a book of poetry because it's just so different than what I'm usually reading. I mean, of course it's different. It's literally a different medium, Andy. Good sentence. Good, good video making. Good work. But given that this is a brief book of poetry, I'm sure I'll be reading it soon and be able to share my thoughts with you then. And then, I guess to make up for all the short stuff I bought, I got The Behemoth of Eve the Awakening by Jenna Morosi. I watch Jenna Morosi's videos here on YouTube. She does stuff about life as a writer or different advice for aspiring writers, so if you yourself are pursuing a career in writing, I definitely recommend her channel. But I've really been wanting to read one of her books, and this is the... I think only one of her books that's available for purchase right now, as far as I know. And it's quite a hefty book, especially when you look at how tiny the text is. Just look at that. So much content. This is also the first book in a series, so I'm really excited about that, that there's just so much content. But I will admit that I'm a little intimidated by it, so it might take me a bit to get through this one. Also, this is a self-published book, so if you're someone who's really interested in self-publishing or you just want to support self-published authors, Jenna Morosi. And that's it, because like I said, this is just a mini book haul. I kind of just felt like making a booktube video. I felt like it'd been a little while, but I wasn't ready to do another wrap-up. Honestly, I haven't actually been reading all that much since I started a new job. Uh, right now I'm reading I Am Malala and Zombies vs. Unicorns, because, you know, Clearly the same person is interested in those two stories. So if you want to end up hearing what I think about those books, you should follow me on Goodreads and subscribe to my channel. 
promo. It's not awkward. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I hope you're having a good weekend. I hope you're excited that we're finally into fall so we can all just like sit around with our warm drinks and our books and our quilts and the autumn leaves and oh, yes. Have a good week and I will see you next time.